A lot of blithering nonsense. Don't suppose your grandmother's told you the story of my tunnel? She told me about the one she dug to the South Island. Oh, I'm not talking about a rabbit hole under Cook Strait, Grandad shook his head. I'm talking about the real tunnel from New Zealand all the way under the Tasman Sea to Australia. Your grandmother had it easy digging a tunnel under Cook Strait, but she couldn't even get the two ends to meet. She didn't have kangaroos and camels and koala bears falling into her tunnel. She didn't come up in the middle of the desert, where the only place out of the sun was inside my tunnel. Was it hot? So hot, my toenails started melting. I ran into the shade inside the tunnel, jumped out of my skin, stood in my skeleton till it cooled down. After that, I sawed up pieces of shade from inside the tunnel, put them in my wheelbarrow, and sold them to passing Australians to stop them from getting sunburned. When I'd sold all the shade, I chained a team of bull camels to the end, whipped them up, and pulled the tunnel out of the ground. What did you do with it? Cut half of it into lengths, sold them to farmers for wells. What about the other half? Sorted it up, built the Sydney Opera House, sold it some joker called Ned Kelly. Few bits of tunnel left over, I split and sold for post holes. Saved people from digging. Were you rich, Grandad? I did alright, flogging off my tunnel. We'd have been sitting pretty, but your grandmother blew half of our fortune buying a racehorse and training it for the Melbourne Cup. Did it win? It leapt ahead of the others, lost interest halfway, chewed some grass, and hopped in last. Hopped? Hopped. Your grandmother didn't know one end of a horse from another, and those Oka con men had sold her a racing kangaroo. She said she never wanted to see an Australian again. I told her it was all her own fault. Who ever heard such nonsense? A racing kangaroo. But you still had the other half of your fortune, Grandad. You know how your grandmother's a terrible gambler, Jack? She'd bet the other half of the money on her bloomin' racing kangaroo. So you lost the lot? The only thing left was my wheelbarrow. Pulled it to pieces to build a dinghy, and rode home to New Zealand. Took a fair time too, because your grandmother insisted on bringing that kangaroo. It sat in the stern and was seasick the whole way. What did Granny call her kangaroo? Jack. What happened to the kangaroo? Took one look at Auckland, dived over the side and swam back to Australia. Last we saw of it, that kangaroo was doing butterfly strokes down the Rangatoto Channel. It came last in the Melbourne Cup, but by gee could it swim. Did you ever hear of it again? Your grandmother keeps in touch. She always gets a card at Christmas. Is that true? I think that's a lot of blithering nonsense, Grandad. Who ever heard of a kangaroo called Jack that sends Christmas cards?